Hey guys, it's Tom. This is day 67 of 100 Days of Making Minis. And I recently was looking through some old sketchbooks for the concept art for the miniatures that I've sculpted recently. And I realized that it's been a long time since I've drawn anything. Uh, Swords of Girl was the last thing I drew, um, at least completely. And even longer since I drew on paper. So I decided to bust out one of my really nice sketchbooks that my um, mother and father-in-law got me for a gift or Christmas or birthday at some time and start uh, working on a few more concepts for a new character. So here's my snazzy sketchbook. It's called a monologue. I don't remember what size this is. I think it's called like a medium or a small. It's a really nice sketchbook though. It's got a heavy outer um, binding, cool uh, little elastic band to keep it closed and the pages are nice, thick and durable. There's a little texture on them, which I didn't like at first, um, just because it chews up your pencils, but. So here's what I worked on today. Uh, fun, funny fact, here, let's see if you can see this. Uh, I apparently intended to draw on this page nearly a year ago, on 4-24-2016. Um, so rather than just letting it go to waste, there was nothing else on here, and just changed the date. Now it's for today. So, um, I was trying to think of another character to do for the, the group of miniatures that I just finished, and I thought it'd be cool to have like an old character, maybe a, a mentor, more of a, like a mentor for everybody. Maybe he's a master of a sword school or something like that. And I don't want to do tons of animal, anamorphic characters in the world, but um, there's certain animal types as characters I've really wanted to do and one of them is a bird man um, and I thought an owl could really fit well in this role I don't know he could be a mage but I really like um, I just I'm a big fan of swordsman so this guy will probably have it be some sort of martial master um, so as you can see here I did a couple quick studies of uh, maybe how his proportions can be and then I started looking at a bunch of different owl heads to kind of get a look. And I think there's a lot of potential with these. Um, I think what I'll probably end up doing, I really like the idea of having these really long um, eyebrow kind of things. And I know that on an owl, these are, are more like, I know they're not their ears, but they kind of look like in an ear position. But I think I'm gonna kind of fudge it a little bit and turn them into like these big, crazy eyebrows. Um, so, not sure which one I'm gonna to go to yet. I'm probably gonna do a few more studies just because um, even though these are pretty cool, they don't look very old and worn yet. Like they actually look kind of lively and vibrant. So I need to work on that a little more because I want this guy to look like really old and weasened. So actually, you know what? I'm gonna try and draw one more head right now and see if I can get myself there a little bit. Well, I hate it. I kept working it and because it looked too much just like any old bird. And yeah, I don't know. 
I think I need to stay with uh, within the general shapes a little longer just to make sure I get that down before I dive too quickly into some details. So, all right, well, that's it for now. For now, I'll see you tomorrow.